Home to over two million people, Pretoria is the capital of South Africa. The political hub of the Rainbow Nation, it's popularly known as the Jacaranda City, due to the famous trees that grow in the parks and gardens here. Pretoria is a rugby union stronghold, and Transworld Sport made the visit to the city recently to meet up with a rising star of South African rugby, a man by the name of Elton Yankees. A talented playmaker, Elton's quick hands, attacking flair and accurate kicking have seen him labelled as a future first-choice Springbok number 10. Although he only made his test debut in September, the ambitious 22-year-old already has his mind set on matching the achievements of some of South Africa's all-time greats. Well, I grew up with a, in a rugby family. Um, my father normally played rugby and me and my brother was quite small, so that's actually how I started. I think I was like four or five years old. And I always told my father I want to play for the Springboks one day and play rugby as a career. And growing up, I always looked at Stephen Larkham, Carlos Spencer, um, Dan Carter, they're still playing, and Johnny Wilkinson a lot. Um, I mean, that's my legendary flowers. I think that's the flowers that I look up to, and that's when I want to. That's what I want to be one day. Elton currently lives on the outskirts of Pretoria with his parents and younger brother Tony, who's also a talented rugby player. Guiding the boys' progress in the sport has been their father, Thomas. He's a qualified rugby coach and is also in the South African Army. Discipline has been a cornerstone of the Yankees' boys' upbringing, both on and off the field. Well, I, I won't say we grew up easily. I think uh, he wants us to be very disciplined, especially in the Army and stuff. People think he's very hard on us, but he's not that hard. There's a difference between his life and being at work. You see, what is very important, I want only the, the strike. I don't worry the ball must be over now. It's only the striking, very important. And very important, it must be out of the hip. Okay. Yes, on target, it's good. What I can say about discipline, discipline is number one in my books. And I can say without discipline, you cannot reach any goals. And uh, that's what I used during my coaching course and also during my coaching clinics or during my coaching with Elton and the brother, is that we mix the two. I took the part of discipline, mix it with, an, uh, with the skills of rugby. And then today I can say, really, we reach our goal and we are still moving forward with that goal. Thomas still works as Elton's kicking coach and the duo put in countless hours together on the practice field. We don't have the time always but every we, we go at nights we'll spend some time together kicking and making sure everything is in place for the weekend's game and my brother as well so yeah we like you can't say you're tired and stuff it's work that you have to put in. South Africa currently have a number of talented fly halves, and Elton is aware that he has a fight on his hands if he's to make the coveted Springbok number 10 jersey his own. And the decision that we made, the two of us, if you are selected, you still work hard. If you are not selected, you work harder. And that was our motto. It came from his side as a player, he made the decision. And what I said to him is that we must work out every day, every moment during coaching. And uh, I know I'm your father at home, but I'm not your father on the field. And the objective is still the same, that he said to himself, he wants to play for South Africa more than under test. And I think with his focus, he can play that. Elton currently plays his club rugby for the Golden Lions, who are based in Johannesburg. 
The 22-year-old was voted South Africa's Young Player of the Year in 2010. Last year, he shone again for the Lions in the Curry Cup, the country's premier domestic rugby competition. In the 2011 Curry Cup final, man of the match Elton converted every one of his goal attempts as he guided the Lions to their first trophy in 12 years. Johan Ackerman is the team's assistant coach. Yeah, well, you know, Elton, uh, uh, he's got the X factor. He always wants to attack. He always wants to do the, the in unpredictable. And uh, that's the good thing to have Elton in your side. You know, you don't know what you're going to get from him. Um, and, and that's why he's so critical for our team, you know, because our whole team philosophy is to play attractive brand. And Elton is a big part of that. The Lions have endured a difficult 2012. After suspending their coach, John Mitchell, earlier in the year following an internal dispute, they finished bottom of the Super Rugby table, resulting in their relegation. However, since June, the team have turned things around. They finished second in the Curry Cup log, securing them a spot in the semi-finals, whilst Elton's own impressive performances for the club have seen him become a regular in the South African squad. Elton, his big asset is the way he pushes himself, the way he trains, you know, he's always willing to do a bit of extra when it comes down to his goal kicking, you know. Um, he's the guy that always stay off the training and kicks for another, I don't know, hour, it seems like uh, hours, but maybe an hour he just will keep uh, kicking. The most important thing is he's willing to learn, so as new things happen around him, he's, he's always adaptable to that. Undoubtedly, one of Elton's greatest assets is his devotion to training. When we met up with him, even on his day off, he was at the gym for some extra conditioning work. And I believe if you train hard and you will achieve your goals, what you set for yourself, and the only thing is in life that you can do is by training hard and do what you have to do as a person to, to achieve that goal and to make it a success. And yeah, I love working hard. I've got the right people around me, so I enjoy my life at the moment. Elton works on his strength conditioning with former South African boxing champion Sebastian Rotman. While he enjoys all forms of keeping fit, Elton's boxing training has seen him develop a passion for the noble art. So much so that he's even contemplating an amateur fight. I'm really thinking about it, but at the moment this rugby is number one and I just enjoy the, the work intensity and the training of boxing and the physical, like the, the contact I like about it, but the most important is for, for my conditioning and stuff, I really enjoy the boxing and yeah, the amateur fight is in my mind and I think I'm going to do it, yeah. During Transworld Sports' trip to South Africa, Elton and the Lions were playing in the semi-finals of the Curry Cup. The Lions were up against Western Province in front of their home fans at Johannesburg's Ellis Park. During a tense opening half, the Lions struggled, but a second-half penalty from Elton, followed by a try from Michael Rhodes, brought them back into the match. A late penalty from Elton looked to have secured them a place in the final. However, a Western Province try in the final seconds of the game brought an abrupt end to the Lions' title defence. In spite of the defeat, Elton could take some solace from the fact that next year he'll be playing on loan for the Cape Town franchise in the Super 15, where he'll have a realistic chance of challenging for the Super Rugby title. And with the Springboks touring Britain and Ireland this month, Elton will again be fighting for the chance to make that number 10 jersey his own.
I don't compete against any fluff in South Africa or in the world. The thing is, I compete against myself to improve as a player and just to do my, my job as a fluff and take all those responsibilities that goes with the position. So I know I have to do my job in all aspects of the game. If I'm good at that, then, then I can be the number one fluff. I'm not a guy that believes in one test and then you're happy. I'm a guy that want to play 50 to 100 tests. I normally tell myself that I want to be like Victor Medfield, John Smith. I want to be like Richie McCoy and all the guys who play 100 tests for their country and play 100 tests for their unions. And that's one of my goals and that inspires me every single day.